Hello all, uh, in this class we are going to discuss about the return PO. What is return PO? Basically whenever you are purchasing some materials and uh, some materials are remaining with you and you want to return back to the vendor that time we can have this return PO. Basically uh, I'll just take where you can do the return PO. Let us consider you are having a shop and for the shop you are purchasing the newspapers. I am I'm considering the newspapers here. And every day you are buying like uh, 100 papers each. Okay, 100 papers you are buying every day. What is the expiry date of papers here? End of that particular day the paper will going to get expired. Uh, the, what is that? Uh, the tradable goods means whenever the expiry will going to take space, you can provide back that to the vendor. Vendor will going to accept that. What uh, we'll going to do is, uh, let us consider you are taking the paper on Monday 100 and uh, uh, around 90 papers you are selling here 10 papers are remaining with you and Tuesday again you are taking 100 papers here also you are uh, selling around 80 papers around 20 papers are remaining with you Wednesday you are, uh, you are taking some papers and around uh, uh, 10 papers are remaining with you and uh, Thursday again some uh, 5 papers are remaining with you Friday some 5 papers are remaining with you and Saturday some uh, 10 papers are remaining and Sunday all the papers were sold out so 0 is remaining with you so entirely if you have uh, seen here here 20, 10 like that if you are calculating it is 30, 40, 50 and 60 papers are remaining with you within a week if you want to return back through the return delivery let us consider here you can able to do this return through the return delivery as well if you are uh, doing this through the return delivery then you have to create seven different return deliveries because we will going to uh, create the return delivery based upon the material document but for everywhere you will going to take that uh, material document and you will going to return for that if you are going like this then it will going to take your lot of time so that is why what we will going to do is we will going to create the return PO for all these materials and system will going to accept that I will directly uh, move to the SAP screen here here we will just uh, quickly create one material I am taking a tradable good here and for that uh, means I have created the uh, material type as tradable material and I'll going to create a material within this. Okay, click enter, and our plant is LT01, and storage location is LT01. Click enter. Here I'll going to say Times of India. Okay, this is my material, and base unit of measure is each. Here I'll take a general. The purchasing group is triple zero, and uh, purchasing value key is L. Material type is PD. MRP controller is LMC and here I will going to take as a EX I will going to give one day because every day I require the paper right I will just give it one day and I will not going to give any um, price over here ok you can directly maintain it in the PO if you want and here just check if you want to save also where it will going to take you it will take you to the MRP3 view in the MRP3 view we will be having the availability check for tradable goods we need to uh, have the availability check means when we should require these things here they have provided daily requirement individual requirement or we can take it in the batches and all I'll say daily requirement paper we required every day right so that is why I'll just tick the uh, daily requirement and proceed for creation of the material so our material is created I'll just copy this material copy this material and I'll quickly create one PO for this I will be creating the PO who is the vendor uh, vendor I have created a 20080 as a trading vendor I will just click enter you can see that this is also TOI vendor ok and here purchasing org LT01 purchasing group triple zero and the company is LT01 material just now I have created and uh, quantity I will take means every day I am taking 100 no I am taking 100 here price I will going to maintain 5 rupees for this and plant is LT01 storage location is LT01 click enter and it is asking for the currency just give INR see I am creating the uh, purchase order here for Monday and I will check this 
okay if you are getting no messages just save this PO I have created the PO with a PO uh, number copy it now I'll create the Migo for this slash n m i g o here lt01 I have to take if I take this PO and I have I'll say document ok and check this whether everything is correct or not if the document saying ok then post it like that what you are doing you are creating the uh, PO for all the materials 7 days you are creating the PO and for 7 days you are creating the GR and for 7 days you are creating the IR or else you can pay directly for all the materials that is possible or else you are creating let us consider you are creating the IR every day then in this case if you want to return this how you will going to do it one is a return PO is there and there is return delivery return delivery means what you will going to return the material based upon the material document but in the return PO we can able to just take all those materials here whatever the remaining materials are there no anyway they are expired and all these materials are same only like they are uh, times of India papers only okay so that is why we can consider all these materials at once and we can create the return PO over here we'll just check how our return PO will be happening now I'll uh, just go back to the SAP screen here I'll create the IR for this slash n m i r o and just give the date as 12 and put the same PO it is ok reference PO just put a, a PO here and click enter all the data it will going to take automatically and uh, just go here change your tax code and you can say calculate tax as well because we have given the zero tax so there is no tax and 500 rupees I need to pay it to the vendor I'll say 500 just click enter and uh, you can uh, simulate this see here balance is zero uh, you can simulate or else directly save it that is how we will going to pay it to the vendor now uh, let us consider I am creating the PO for all the seven days means I have created already for one day now I'll going to create for another six days means I'll going to buy all the 600 papers at once how I can able to do it just consider the vendor same vendor okay here vendor should not change and I'll take the um, what is that purchasing organization and the group as well as the company code here I'm going to put the material this is this is the material and I'll going to take the quantity as 600 here means uh, means in the six days I'll be buying around 100 net papers like that and here I'll going to maintain my plant and the storage location just click enter uh, remaining data it will going to take because we have already created the PO and uh, just check uh, so the message error is there so just give the output uh, messages and you can able to proceed further just save this purchase order and for this also what I will do I will going to create the um, Migo this is the purchase order 372 slash n m i g o means I am creating the GR 372 is the purchase order and uh, I'll say item ok and check it then I'll going to save this okay let us consider you have paid for this also okay what is the movement type here movement type is 101 how your material is coming it is coming through the 101 I'll just show you okay here only just go to the display and this is the material document just click enter see here movement type you can see is 101 now how will going to do the return PO I'll just go slash n me 21 n only where you are creating the PO as we have discussed we are taking the papers like Monday this much Tuesday this much like that and these papers are remaining okay total uh, we have remained with the uh, uh, around 60 papers I just want to return all these 60 papers back to the vendor what we will do we are creating the PO on the same material see vendor will be same and I'll take the header data here LT01 and uh, I'll take the material that is uh, this is the material and quantity I'll take 60 here price and all just leave it here LT01 and LT01 I'll going to give click enter now the data is taken automatically go to the line item and just go forward here see here we have the return item in the PO only I can able to return this material 
okay so that is how we can able to do that one is free free means what let us consider you are purchasing something uh, from the vendor like 100 materials if you are purchasing and one material uh, he is giving it for free okay that time what you can do that one material you can put it in the second line item and you can take this free for this second material no accounting entries will go into it okay now i'll just select this return po and check it whether everything is correct or not so no messages okay so just save this data this is the po number which it is generated i'll just copy this go to the migo screen slash n migo and here i'll say goods receipt here one thing you need to observe here is the movement type how you are uh, moving the goods back to the vendor if you are doing the return po then the movement type is 161 this is important if you are taking the uh, return delivery then movement type will be 122 as of now you are doing the return po means it is 161 and just say item ok and post it see material is posted i will just create the miro in miro i have returned 60 but for uh, total 700 materials i have paid to the vendor now what I have to do, I will not going to do the invoice, I have to do the credit memo. Okay, just what you do, just put this PO here, click enter, see, around 300 rupees it is saying invoiced, but whether you need to pay 300 rupees to the vendor, no. What we have to do, we have to take this 300 rupees uh, from the vendor actually. Just click enter, here I will just put my tax code and uh, click enter again here also I'll going to provide my tax code what I'll do I'll just put this 300 here click enter so now we can able to see if you are simulating okay from vendor it is debiting and for our account GRIR clearing it is crediting so you, it is happening reverse so just save this so this is how we'll going to do the return PO and thanks for watching my video guys please like share subscribe this channel